Well, well, Stephanie. Color me impressed. The Short Second Life of Bree Tanner is a spin-off book that is supposed to run alongside Eclipse. It's about Bree, a side character, and her time as a vampire leading up to her subsequent death. This book isn't perfect, but for a Stephanie Meyer novel, I was surprised. What makes this work, over her other books, is that it's short. It's only 160-some pages, and it gets to the point quickly. Also, Meyer really gets out the big guns. She doesn't sugarcoat shit. People die. Horribly. Vampires get torn apart, innocent people are slaughtered. All that fun stuff we are wanting more from with the Twilight franchise. I mean, don't get me wrong, we sometimes got a semblance of that, but it was mostly just Bella, Edward, and Jacob drama. Here, Bree does have a love interest, and their relationship is rather cute while it lasts. Unlike the Twilight Saga, this book, as I said, gets to the point. It isn't 500 pages of, OMG, my vampire boyfriend is so hot, and OMG, my werewolf love interest is so hot, you know, before the actual plot kicks in. Here, it's, you know, Meyer gets to it because she knows she doesn't have time to fuck around. Bree is probably her best character to date. She fleshes out a backstory for her early on, though I can't help but notice that much like Bella, she's a bookworm and she's hopeless when it comes to romance, but I'll explain that in a bit. I also like how despicable Riley is in this. If you haven't read the actual Twilight Saga, there is a part where Victoria, this one vampire, wants to kill Bella, so she raises up an army of newborns, and she does this by manipulating a guy named Riley, who she ends up turning into a vampire as well. And Victoria is more in the shadows here, but Riley really knows how to manipulate the newborn army. He lies to them about the effects of the sun to keep them indoors. He uses thirst as a tool to keep them corralled in. He offers them small rewards to keep them interested. In truth, the newborn army was just attacked by Victoria, as I said, to try and kill off the Cullen so she can get to Bella. But the way she and Riley go about manipulating them is done rather well. So what about this doesn't work? Uh, since it's tied with the clips, the Volturi show up and tell Victoria she has five days to go about her business with the Cullens, or they're killing off the newborn army. Which I don't understand. The Volturi want to keep vampires a secret. So instead of killing them off, they give them five days? But when the Cullens and the Wolves wipe out the newborn army, the Volturi show back up and they're like, Oh, thanks for that. Why didn't you wipe them out to begin with if you didn't like the newborn army running around? There are a shit ton of contrivances and plot issues in the Twilight Saga regarding the Volturi, so it was bound to bleed over into this book. But it still makes no sense, and if you plug it in with the rest of the Twilight books, it confuses things even more. Also, just when I thought I was getting to like Brie, she finds out that Diego, her love interest, is... dead, and she loses all hope. She just gives up. This guy that she's known for like 10 days, who maybe kissed her once or twice, is dead, so she feels no need to carry on. Really? Like, you haven't even made out with him. All you got was a two-second kiss and a wink, and that's enough to make you so hopelessly in love that his death destroys you? I understand that something was blossoming and she's upset, which she has every right to be, but she's acting like they were married for 200-some years and they had a life together. I know this is common ground for Stephanie Meyer, but it shits all over this character that, up to this point, was perfectly serviceable. And really, that's the book in a nutshell. Is it the best thing Meyer's written? Yeah. But it still has contrivances, and she craps all over the female lead. If you take it for what it is, it's a serviceable fantasy book about vampires. Despite loving the manipulation and cult tactics used by Riley, and the relationship between Brie and Diego, it seems like for every good thing this book does, it does something crappy to level it out. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and give The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner a C+. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, maybe you should like, comment, subscribe. If not, feel free to watch any of my other videos. I have one right up here for you in case you're interested. Also, why not stop by my Facebook page? I like to post things about videos, books that I'm reading, and stories. I also like to post polls, get different opinions from viewers about what books I should read, and who knows, maybe I'll find a book that I actually really like. Either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.